Let's go get ready for bed, take this makeup off. Your best morning starts with the night before, okay? So we have some journaling and affirmations to do as well because we are becoming our best selves. Okay, do, we're doing we're doing a morning routine vibe here. Jenny, what makes you get up at this time in the morning every week? It's definitely because it's now a habit. It's just like brushing my teeth. <laughs> and you love it? I love it. I, if I were to be motivated, I would still be lying in bed. So you just have to make it a habit. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Right, Leanne, what makes you get up at 5 a.m. in the morning? Um, crime baby. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but to come in here and train at 5 a.m.? It's part of my daily living, I suppose. Um, Just I wouldn't miss it. Journey? Habits? Habits. Habits. Yeah, habits. I would not miss it. I would. I love it. We're back. So, the time is currently 7.14 a.m. So, I didn't do very much on that lay. I wanted to catch up on compete from last night, so I did the rowing intervals. So it was 10 rowing intervals, like one minute rest for 500 meters. So it was good, it was spicy enough, but it was, it was just nice. Wait, I did not stop my watch. Whoops. Stop. Success. Okay, so plan of action now is, I really, I'm like, I've got, a, I've got extra time, so we're gonna shower first because I don't wanna be stinky going into work, but I wanna meditate and do a little bit of stretching and some yoga. Okay, so we're gonna do that because you know, I want this to be part of my morning routine. I wanna be that girl. So let us go shower, romanticize the morning. Okay, update, I was unsuccessful with my meditation purely because I spent too long in the shower and I have to get ready for work. Well, I'm ready for work, but I need to, oh, and just rang, so I have to go meet him for a coffee first and then go to work straight away. But I also need to make scrambled eggs, so. I know it's bad to say, but the meditation is probably not going to happen this morning. However, after work, we will aim to do it. I would actually really like if we had like 10 minutes in the morning to do it in work. Do you know what? Can I go away? But anyway, let's fix this hair. Anyway, it'll be fine. Right, let's put some eyebrows on to make me look more alive. Here, I was using a wee BB cream this morning. Where is it? Because in work, there's no point in me putting like a full face and makeup on because by the end of the day it's all gone because you're still we still wear masks in the hospital setting so there's literally no point but I still like to have my face the same color as my body because the tan does wear off on your face like very quickly so that was awesome I just put on like my normal moisturizer and then I use this one where the fuck is it I use like the aloe water one and then I put on my SPF which I use the Hawaiian Tropic SPF 50 and then put that on the top and glow. Sorted. And I'm not even gonna fill them in. I'm just gonna leave them like that. And then we're gonna put on maybe like a little bit of blush, a little something just to wake me up a bit. And then, and then, oh, oh, 
this stuff is so pigmented holy smokes especially when you don't have makeup makeup on holy bejesus she's alive and then we'll just and i'll put mascara on but i'll just curl these bad boys up thumbs up ready for work right let's go get a coffee first before i even make scrambled eggs coffee acquired shout out to one thank you for the morning coffee and now it's time to make some scrambled eggs i need to see if i've got turkey sausages i do right my plan is i'm going to have turkey sausages with scrambled eggs and toast i've decided i'm taking a calorie deficit break we're going to maintenance for a week i need it plus turns out i'm doing another competition now next week i had said i had said i wasn't doing any more competitions because there, like I did so many this year just to get experience and stuff as well and then just exposure well while we wait for our turkey sausages to cook I hope you're having a great day I must say I'm I'm not going to get cross at myself for not having done the meditation and stuff because I'm like right the goal was just to even get up in the first place and we did that we did that today so throughout the rest of the week we can start penciling in the meditation one thing at a time we're not trying to become it girl all in 0.2 seconds. So we'll take our time. But anyway, I just hope you have a great day today. And I want you to remember, I'm, I'm making some big decisions right now. I'm, I'm making big decisions. And I'm trying to like treat myself the way I would treat a friend. So if you're trying to make big decisions, what I would say is go with the one that makes you feel like you're expanding. I actually, I remember listening to Mel Robbins talk about this. And she said, always pick the decision that makes you feel like you're expanding, not that you're going to become smaller from it. So like, staying in some job because you think of security but doing whatever it is that you actually want to do is what makes you feel like you're going to grow even though you don't know for sure if you're going to grow but it's the one that actually has the opportunity to grow you know what i mean so the one that makes you feel like you're expanding so yeah there's a pep talk for today these turkey sausages are taking too long i need them to hurry up also my flat white is delicious we get them from the alchemist if you're down in oma very tasty very delicious best coffee in oma i have to say and actually my neighbor owns it shout out to so yeah, uh, fantastic, fantastic. Oh, 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 I did not mean to zoom on myself. I have like a, tr a, a Bluetooth tripod and it actually works. So I'm shocked, but I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Scrambled eggs is one of my meals, but it's really hard to make them actually look pretty. Do you know what I mean? Because unless you've got the wee greeneries to put on top, I just, I just think sometimes they do not look the best. However, I am going to enjoy this meal. It may, it really, it's very beige. It's very beige. I'll show you. But here, solid protein, solid carbs, solid fats. That's what it's all about. I'm Delicious. It's time to go to work. So I'm walking out of the hospital and then I probably can't do much in there. So I will just pick up a few after the work. Bye bye. Holy moly okay i got i got home from work the time is currently quarter past six or just after six is it quarter past six right got up at five with owen because he was working this morning and i was like right king let's fucking go it's, that was all was like was buzzing all day in work it was grand like getting it all getting all done didn't feel tired at all got home from work and i was like ton of bricks ton of bricks i am um, i need a nap and i had ever intention because i was like oh i'm not training to 8 p.m like train this morning and then i was like oh yeah like train this evening all good and I am at 8 p.m. but I was like I need a 10 minute power nap right there right now but anyway I'm gonna try and get I don't know if I'll have enough time but we're gonna try and record my podcast in the meantime you can listen on Spotify or Apple whatever you're on but yeah so we're gonna go try and get that done and I actually need a snack before I train I'm starving right let's go Oh my god, totally chuffed. I gabbled the gob off myself there. That was class. Um, this week's episode is about identity crisis. So if you want, you can go touch on it. I give some really helpful tips on how to actually figure out what your identity is, even though I'm still figuring out my own. But we got to remember, we all start somewhere and I'm a lot further on than what I used to be. So as you can tell, I'm still talking very fast because after that, I'm blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the plan is now, it's now quarter past seven. So I need to get changed very quickly. I'm training at 8 p.m. but I have a little bit of extra stuff to do. So we're gonna go train and then I cannot wait for my dinner tonight. 
I don't know why, but I'm so hungry today. I think I'm going back to maintenance for this week because I have a comp next weekend. So not this again, but next weekend. So I'm like, fuck it, maintenance this week, baby. Taking a break, taking a break, but you're supposed to take breaks. But anyway, we'll get into that in another time. So let's go train. Hello there, Kaylee. Hello. What time are you gonna finish this workout then? Faster than you. What time are you gonna finish this workout then? Sub 12. Like, hey, what time are you gonna finish this workout in? Probably about eight minutes. Oh, fuck me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Post wad catch up. Oh my god, I really surprised myself with that workout. You know, I was chuffed, and actually, fun fact, I did beat Owen and PD, so slay to me. But uh, anyway, we're catching up on some meals now. But tonight, I'm having a tasty grub club meal, and I'm having chicken chow mein. And I have to say, they're the tastiest meals I've had in forever. Like, as like made ones, like ready made, so good. Calorie counters, my fitness pal, key for me, just trying to stay on track. So chuffed and then afterward we're gonna have a little a little treat like maybe just a little like a little bar or something but anyway chuffed 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 and gonna munch this now probably Owen's gonna come in and chill as well and then we're back in Owen's house again because remember we're getting up early so Owen works on Wednesdays and Thursdays at about half five in the morning and I'm getting my ass out of bed and I'm joining him so if I come down here I have to get up with him because I left my car nowhere so I have no excuse I have no excuse so yes, we're up and at it again tomorrow. I, LOL. Would you see how much hours of sleep I got last night? Can you see that? Four hours and 58 minutes. So I said, I was like, right, we need to be in bed by like half 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. But you see, I say that, but then for some reason my brain is on full power mode when it comes to getting into bed. And then in the morning time, it's on zero power mode. But no, that's a mindset. So we're changing the mindset. I am ready. I'm changing my identity. A little treat all for me. I have a confession. I did get up before six today. So I stayed in Owens again last night. As you've seen. However, I got up at the same time as him. So we got up at like five or five past five, whatever it was. And we left. That was fine. And I went to the gym, but I didn't have any stuff with me. So I was like, right, I need to go back to my own house first because my own house is only like five minutes over the road from the gym. And so that was okay. And I'll be or be like left my gym bag, everything there. Cause I was like, yes, I know that I'm coming over now. Like anyway, got home, got into the bed for 15 minutes. I says 15 minutes killing. We'll get up at six and we'll go back over. Woke up 10 to eight. Because Owen rang me to be like, are we going for a coffee? I was like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I was like, I'm embarrassed, but I'm not embarrassed because it was such a good snooze. I had such a weird dream. I had such a weird dream about my car. And like, I remember it so vividly. It was so strange, so strange. But anyway, we're getting ready for work now. And I've got my breakfast on. Do you know what I'm having today? I'm having bacon, actual bacon, not turkey bacon, but purely because I was like, I'm in the mood for some bacon. You're wondering, Keeling, what day of the week is it now? I feel like I haven't seen you, even though you see me two seconds ago. Well, it's now Friday. I skipped the whole Thursday because, whoops, 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 whoops. I had every intention of this video, of this vlog, being about getting up at 6 a.m. And if this week has been the worst, I've got up earlier every other week apart from this week. Like, oh my God, like even this morning, right, me and Owen were like, right, let's meet, go get a coffee again before we train. And we were like, right, we'll meet at quarter past eight. 
I woke up at 8.06. I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Wait. Anyway, I'll give you a proper update after we've trained because we're going to go train now, so we'll put that in first. Off to school. <laughs> Wait, Kills. Yes. What are you doing today? Back squats. My front squat. Many reps, 20 sets. 10 sets, two reps. Yeah. But you're being a big meaty ball. <laughs> you keep shouting me all morning. Be honest. I am not being mean. You are? You have 10 minutes before the class starts. You have to get an email. You have to get an email. Meanie. the menu we are doing box front squats mm -hmm. then we're doing clean jerks mm -hmm. and then we're doing a mac on you can tell them what the mac on is um <laughs> i don't actually know what the mac on is really <laughs> three rounds machine don't zoom right up Sorry. oh god uh machine kettlebell swings kettlebell front rack step ups and netball set ups owen put on coaching owen persona there to tell you what that was coach owen Just decided that I need to look cute for the rest of the day because right now I'm just not feeling cute and I have a few things to do. I'm like baking and stuff, so I want to look cute. This is the moisturizer I use, it's aloe vera hydrogen. Yes, love it. Love, love, love. Also, I got my nails done. Can you see? So cute. I'll show, I'll show them properly after. Hold on, I need to tell. Okay, we also need SPF. I've been using this SPF 51. Oh well, who do I think I am with the makeup tutorial? But here. Actually, like I'm definitely not a makeup like guru. However, you know when you just find something that works for you, this definitely just works for me. And I've been seeing people on TikTok talk about their eyebrows and when they do their eyebrows and how you shouldn't really put like moisturizer or product in them. So I did accidentally put some moisturizer in there, but it's fine. It's fine. Face time. So I use Charlotte Tilbury in 4.5, the flawless filter, standard. Every man, woman, and child has this. I just kind of put it in the center high points. Then this product has been on rail, so Radiance Booster by Iconic, and I use Honey Glow. Honey, honey Glow. It's called. Oh my god! So I use like this much and just dab it on. Unbelievable! Love it. What do you see? So then, I know you're probably thinking, why are you putting so much on for a base? Wait till you see the color combo. I swear, it's so good. So then I lost my little, so I just used North Sheardlow, but I lost my little part that squeezes it. So, oh, oh, that's, see, this is the issue. This is why you need the squeezer. Put it on. And then we just kind of dab that around as well. Like take some from the excess, spread it around. Okay, now that we have this flawless base, you're wondering, how do you blend this? Well, we use our fingers. Oh, we roll it in. Rub it up, up because I seen a thing that uh, the NARS foundations were made to be rubbed on with your hands and not like a, a brush or a sponge. So here we are. I've always just used my fingers, yo, and I don't go in around my eyes that much with it. It's not that I've like mad creases or anything in there, but I just I hate having creased under eyes. It really does drive me to the wall. So then just 
Getting in around the eyebrows. And then just kind of blend in whatever's left. Up and around. Take that cold look off me. Right. So that's most of it. But what I'm gonna do is then take a little teeny bit of the NARS sheer glow. I kind of just take the excess from the lid. Uh, fill in then whatever needs an extra little layer. Like generally the forehead always needs a little more just to get in around the eyebrows and stuff. To give it that flawless look. My chin is still recovering from my period last week. My chin would be like the main area to get spots and stuff. So during my period, I like, I try not to pop, pop them, but they generally be like the little white head ones. So again, then whatever's left, I will just put around my eyeballs. Okay. So I use the Born This Way. I do also have the NARS one, um, but I just, I bought this one and I thought, fuck it, I'll use it. So I just use a wee bit. There, there. And then, yeah, generally, the chin is dependent on the spot situation. So I'm using a little extra around my chin because I have a few leftover marks from last week's period spots <laughs> that we would like to disappear, please. Thank you. But I don't blend that in yet, so I'll leave that to sit. And then I'll do my, it's not really, I don't contour, so to speak, because I know that the contour is supposed to be the darker one that you put like here to create shadows. So I'm assuming this is like a cream bronzer, then if, if we're using the right terminology here. So it's, it's, it's a concealer, but I just got the dark one. And I use that as my bronzer. And then I'll do a little bit here and here. I never really touch my nose. I don't want to play with them games up there. And I'll blend that out first before I go near my concealer. And we'll press into the skin. They always say press into the skin, not away. Blend, blend, blend. So we can be snatched for absolutely no reason because I'm not going anywhere, but I just want to feel cute. Do you know what I'm saying? I have a few, I think I've got one more day out of this tan. It is starting to go a bit funky around my neck, but when it's still there, I want to make full use of it. I'm going for dinner on Sunday with my family. It's like an early Christmas dinner. So my parents are divorced. So we do like, the whole Christmas thing was a bit questionable. Like we weren't sure what was going to happen, but we're doing like an early one this year with one side. So yeah, that'll be nice. Oh yeah, and I've got a poker night tomorrow night. Not that I've ever played poker before, but it's like a fundraiser in the gym for prostate cancer. Oh, also, now that that's all blended in, right? So blend, blend, blend. Now we'll go in with the concealer, but I always leave the eyes to last because I want them to be like set, half set. So we'll start with the chin. I don't know. Yeah, so there's poker night tomorrow night, and I, of course, have never played. And not that the stakes are very high, it's like a tenner, but, and you can buy more chips if you want. However, I do need to YouTube how to play poker because I literally have absolutely no idea. And then just make sure that's all blended out. Sorted. Now I'll probably go back in under my eyes again because they will probably be a wee bit creased in like two minutes. So what we'll do before we do that is, and before we put pitter on, we will do our eyebrows. So just to check. Yeah, we're well stuffed, we're well stuffed. I just use, I've had this like for maybe one to two years already, but it's like a little revolution palette and just an elf eyebrow brush. And I just literally go around them. Oh wait, hold on. I need to go over that again because the, so I'll just take this again because they've moved, which is a pain in the ass, but it was my fault because I put the beauty blender on them. Just put everybody back in position. Actually, do you know what? Whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we'll put these creases out again. And we'll go in with our Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I use an old beauty blender and just literally mostly under eyes, but like further out under eyes, not directly under. Because again, we don't want to remove creases. So just right there. And then I'll do up here because generally that's the first part that would sweat for my makeup. And then like I just around the chin. Okay. And if I was going like out, out I might like do the whole snatch thing, but we don't need to worry about that today. Right, back to the eyebrows. I'm gonna just do these quickly. Speed you up. Okay. I 
eyebrows done. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the powder there and we're gonna go in with just a little bit of bronzer. I got this here in Dubai like three years ago and I thought it was the worst thing ever because I forgot my bronzer when we went on holidays and do you know what? I'm so happy I started using it again. I hated it when I got it and then I figured out how to use it and now I chuffed. I love it, it's my favorite thing ever. So we're just going in. I kind of snap, I go higher with mine rather than down here. And we want to blend. Blend, blend, blend. And then I will use this on my eyeballs as well. And once over. Also, I've been really noticing my posture recently, like this. I'm like, oh my god, like stretch it out, like sit up tall. So bad recently, I swear. I'm not very like strategic with this. I literally just put it everywhere. And then just to sharpen up the browns a bit, I use the Huda Carmel very lightly, just on top of that, just to give us a little bit more pizzazz. Blend, blend, blend. And I'll do down here too, because we don't want to be unmatched. No way, Jose. And especially at this time of the week of the tan, you need to like make sure shit's matching up because the tan's starting to get a wee bit lighter, okay? Okay, so then we need to brush off whatever excess is left. I'm trying to find half of my, so I'm just brush off if there's any excess powder here. And up here. And now my favorite part, blush. I'm an over blusher, complete over blusher. And I use the Happy from Rare Beauty. I was a NARS Orgasm liquid blush girl, but sold out everywhere. So I was like, I need a substitute because mine ran out. So yeah, this has been the substitute. I still think I prefer the NARS Orgasm. However, this has been a good substitute for sure. So I would highly recommend. She had happy, by the way. I think I said that already, but anyway. And then I just use, I use my finger most of it. And then to actually blend, I use the Beauty Blender. Mostly I use the finger at the start because I don't want the Beauty Blender to take up too much product. So I'll blend most of it with my finger. And then, oh look, she's starting to match her top. That's why I wear this. Tie in. Give me a color to reach with my blush. And look, I love, but I know you might say, Kayleen, that's enough blush, but it's not. It's not, because I go, apologies, you died on me. Um, so yes, I finished the blush without you. But anyway, right, we've only a few more things to do and I hope the battery lasts for me this time. Right, so just basically eyes left and I fixed my hair there. Whilst I was waiting on you to charge up. So just eyelash curler. And we go in. Now I got my eye my eyelids. Eyelids. My eyelashes. What do you call it? LVL. That little eyelash lift thing. But disaster. Because see when they started falling down again. Half of them were up. Half of them were down. And I couldn't get mascara on the properly. So I've decided I'm never ever getting that again. And we use Lash Sensational Waterproof. I think I need a new one of these. This one's a bit old. And just lightly fill them in. I swear, if you haven't tried an eyelash curler before, you need to try it. Change the game. Like, I would not have any eyelashes if it wasn't for that. Class. Do you see the difference? Ready? Oh my god. I can't believe, I cannot believe. Oh, the sun's coming in the window now. Amazing, right, lips. Okay, this is very worn, but I use the strip down from, I have a new one somewhere. This is stripped down from MAC. Please me for MAC as well. She's very pink today. Never mind that ponytail. I might bun that, because that looks really bad. Oh, do you think I look really put together with my bun in? Or do I look like my scrunch bun? I don't know. Anyway, right, NYX Dewy Spray. Oh, I can't lie to you. I have always been, up until about the last few years, I was always a matte, matte girly. Like, I mean, Estee Lauder, Double Wear, matte vibes. And now I'm like, all about the glow. It's all I want. Right. That's that done. What do you think? Do I look okay? Okay, slay. <laughs> Matey <Made it> adjourned. <laughs> it's awkward. Slay, okay. Okay. 
feel like we're anchoring the she news. She loves fresh and I don't. I feel like we're anchoring the news. <laughs> Welcome to Oma 57 Sunrise. <laughs> okay. On today's news. What is on the news today? What's on the agenda? Uh, well, I'm just literally about to head out to go to work. Being a busy bee that I am. Oh my, this is not Took the, the content that people have signed up for. Oh, is it not? Oh, do you know what we actually need to do? Oh, right, okay. We, some doll messaged me the other day and she was like, can you do like a happy birthday message for my daughter? And her, hold on, let me check what her name is. So if we record it in this, I can cut it anyway. Her daughter's name's Hannah. 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 Right, okay, you ready? Now you have to be happy and smiley during this, okay? I'm always happy and smiley. No, but like, just follow me. Copy what I do. All right, okay. I'm watching. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, okay. Happy birthday, Hannah. Happy birthday, Hannah. You didn't Hope do you it. have a wonderful you day. You didn't do it. Why would I? Did you not watch the viewfinder? You have to focus. Right, focus. Okay. What am I focusing on? Right, three, two, one. Happy birthday, Hannah. Happy birthday, sweetheart. I hope you have the best day ever. Well, we didn't follow lead. You have to do this. Oh, do this. Right, are you ready? What are I doing? This? And stick your tongue out. Like rock and roll. All right, okay. Happy birthday, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> the best day ever, Pep. <laughs> have the best day ever. Six is an important number. It's a very lucky number. Did you know that? Whatever walk I have more of it. Yeah. If you're not going to run it, <laughs> why don't you walk it next year when I'm doing it? Yeah, I might do. I would need to set off the day before. <laughs> Fair enough. He's my catch me near the finish line. <laughs> right, here we are. Well then you better be at the finish line with flat whites. Orders. Stunning. Ellie's tea stains? The moment of truth. Let's check that one first. Are they a size up? Yeah, well not half the size. They look slightly bigger. No tea stains. Oh. Shit, me fucking put a tea stain on it next. Beautiful. Oh wait, we need to get a thumbnail. There you go, which one you want? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like I have like loads of different images on it. Mm -hmm. We need it, we need one of us. Well could I not like be half decent kid instead of heading out to the hospital? Help me! Go again, three, two, one. <laughs> Shall we make a challenge? Can you wash my nanos? Um, I can't know, but the washing machine usually does. That's actually so hateful. <laughs> That's actually so hateful. Why would he be? What do you mean? Why are you, what not, are you, look, killing? Why are you not looking what? after me? I'm sorry, darling. What age are you? I am 18. What? 18 at heart. 18 at heart. Still at 18, killing. You know how a machine washing machine performs. I and know, but that's not what I'm saying. on and off button. That's not what I mean. I mean, would you not do it? Would you people believe this? She's 24. Me? Yes. Oh, <laughs> fuck's sake, I put the fucking handle on my tea. I blame her. That's Excuse it. Excuse me? You're cancelled. You're dismissed again. That's a, that's a regular occurrence on the vlog, is you being dismissed for bad behaviour. I'm five foot three. Mummy has proclaimed that she's been five foot four for the last, like, 40 years, and she's not, like... Uh, yes, I am. Where I was measured. You've shrunk. My height was taken. You've had your boobies measured and that was fake too, so don't start. <laughs> My boobs are not being started. They may not go to them, but they're not fake. Fuck, they're definitely not fake, but I meant the measurements. Do you know when they lie? Like, when they tell you you're like a fucking... A 30 fucking 6E or something. And you're like... <laughs> uh -uh. Let's be realistic here, Kelly. <laughs> don't need to tell me. <laughs> So I'm sitting here editing the vlog and I've realised the length, the length of it. It's very long and I still had so many more days of footage to put in. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the vlog now and I'll use the next part of the footage to, for the start of the new vlog, okay? Because I don't want to keep you too long. However, let me know if you enjoy these longer videos because obviously if you like the long ones, I'll keep them long. But if you prefer sort of like maybe 12, 15 minute ones, let me know as well so I know what you guys want. Um, or maybe you just want to sprinkle of both keep me posted but thank you so much for watching and if you really enjoyed today's vlog you can give it a thumbs up you can subscribe as well it really supports me in the channel and it helps me get out there to other people as well if you think that other people would enjoy it as well so thank you so much for watching have the best day ever we love you so much bye bye